most investors would look at a nearly 3% return in the first half of the year and think, the stock market must be in good shape. But there are a few patterns developing under the surface that give us pause. First, the top five stocks in the index, Amazon, Facebook, Apple, Microsoft, and Netflix have accounted for the vast majority of the index's returns through the first half of the year. In fact, without these five stocks, the S&P 500 index would be up only 0.3%. Additionally, fewer than half of the members of the S&P 500 index saw their stock prices rise during the first half of the year. This pattern is also prevalent in the NASDAQ index, where the top five contributors to NASDAQ returns account for over 100% of the index's return in the first half of the year. Moreover, the most expensive stocks in the S&P 500 index have outperformed the least expensive stocks by over 5% year to date. This suggests that investors are piling into recent winners in hopes of capturing even more gains. And finally, the most shorted stocks in the S&P 500 index have outperformed the broad market, especially in June. This could suggest that the prices of those stocks are rising not due to increased expectations for the future, but rather due to bears giving in to the continued price appreciation and throwing fundamentals and valuations out the window. All of these dynamics, concentration, herding into recent winners, and shorts rallying, are historically consistent with market tops and could show that the S&P 500 may not be as strong as its recent performance indicates we continue to be defensively positioned within clients' U.S. equity portfolios.